welcome to the channel professor da wednesday today's topic is what are data footprints actually it is a footprint single word what are data footprints right in our daily life the internet has become an essential part what happens when we use the internet we send and receive data through internet with all the various activities we do on the internet we create trails of data these trails of data are called data footprints it includes websites we visit the email we send and receive the message we send and receive when chatting etc every activity we do is like moving around the sand and leaving our footprints every traces of data is recorded right so when we open an online shopping website and check few pairs of shoes you visit some other website not a shopping website you will see that the ad that pop up on the both side of the website's main content will be the shoe so already i spoke about while uh, discussing about the data how we are generating a data day to day life in that uh, if you if you do shopping in one site if you go for another site the corresponding uh, advertisement will come on the either side either left side or right side of our another browsing window right so this is sometimes the same kind of shoes i mean the shape kind of um, items what we are searching that you are looking for will be popped out do you think how do you how do this is possible so this is all possible that you have left your trails of data so whenever you browse to the system whenever you send a email whenever you receive email whenever you chat so all the data or data are being recorded and it creates a small say intelligence so based on that rights of data what you have left the so future suggestion will be given based on what you have searched and what you have uh, looking for in the past uh, histories based on the past history right so this is called the data footprint and data footprint can be classified into two categories first one is active data footprints and second is passive data footprints so what is active data for footprints direct posting or creating the data that is if for, for, for example we regularly use several social media platform and uh, post images or content which are stored on the media this is a formal of uh, active data footprints as we have uh, knowing shared information about ourselves so if you are using uh, uh, social media direct posting and direct chatting those all called active footprints the second type of a data footprint is passive data footprints that is data extracted by our activities like a browsing history etc and so on so our browsing history product searches may be stored by search engines organization use these records for personalized marketing this is an example for passive data footprints data footprints can also be created in offline mode examples of uh, offline mechanisms or files images documents stored in our uh, personal computers or maybe referred as a log okay so this is the general uh, information or general definition and explanation and the types of uh, footprints clear see bye bye have a great day